traditional transmit has a flaw. CDD makes some destructive interference when it transmits. It will decrease the transmission performance and make the transmission unstable. Therefore, transmit beamforming was developed. Transmit beamforming is a mechanism which can adjust fast, decrease the interference and make the transmission more stable. In the typical transmission, when it has more than one antenna, the radiation pattern from each antenna has the same phase. You can see it has stronger signals on the overlapping period. But my laptop isn't there. I can't get stronger signals. Beamforming is a technology which can fix this problem. The antenna on the button adjusts phase to modify those signals overlapping period to the laptop. So the laptop can get the signal stronger and more stable. And C63.10 also mentioned about beamforming testing. This is the test diagram. The UT is associated with companion device. Now let's start testing. Currently, we can see the signals on spectrum analyzer is CDD. The CDD waveform is sharp. We can see the table is moving and the signal has a little variety. Okay, let's speed up. Let's switch to beamforming and run the table. You can see the waveform is changing quickly. It can prove the device beamforming is active. It kept calculating the direction of companion device. This is the real waveform of beamforming transmission. Let's focus on the signal on the top of the waveform. You can see the waveform now is smaller than CDDs. And now, I'm going to show you the waveform difference between beamforming and the CDD mode. The yellow trace is the waveform of CDD mode. The green trace is the waveform of beamforming. The mark 1 is the CDD edge on the restricted band. The mark 2 is the max fundamental of CDD. The Mark 3 is the beamforming edge on the restricted band. The Mark 4 is the max fundamental of beamforming. The fundamental of beamforming is 2 dB higher than CDD. But the edge values of beamforming and the CDD are pretty close. What's the advantage of transmit beamforming radiated test instead of conducted test? According to KDB 62911, either conducted or radiated is acceptable for the band edge measurement. ERP value equal conducted level plus gain plus array. So how to calculate the array gain? It's number of antenna divided by spectrum strings log times 10. You can also see the table. It's mean for a 4x4 device will have 6 dBi array gain. 
This is the conductive values of beamforming. The green trace is the antenna gain. The blue trace is the 6 dBi array gain based on the theory. So the question is, is the real gain as high as the theory? These are the antenna patterns of four different antennas. What will happen if we put four antennas into a device? This is combined gain by average. It will become smaller since those antennas have different direction. This is the composite gain by directional with array. The max composite gain is 6.75 dBi. The blue period is the spherical directional gain which is 10 log antenna. So you can see the theoretical directional gain is 2 or 3 dBi higher than relaxed gain. The maxima gain is even 4 dBi higher or more than the relaxed gain. Radiative measurement can get higher power since the antenna pattern. And for the most case, antenna report is the max gain values which might be a lot higher for the conductive band edge testing. It is mentioned in KDB 62911. The power measurement transmit beam for me will be 6 dB higher than CDD mode in 4 antennas. Advantage of transmit beam for me radiation test. For FCC, it could get lower band edge result than calculation. For Europe, it could get higher power setting in same level EIRP because array gain calculated by mass are overestimated.